hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to share with you is the drizzle ORM obviously this is uh, a different kind of ORM that I wanted to cover and I have uh, seen a lot of ORM and work with a lot of ORM including sequelizer, prisma and everything now this one has taken a different approach if you have the sense of SQL then you have uh, this ORM working in a very relational way exactly so as you can see uh, it has a lot of documentation but uh, I want to cover something that has not been covered uh, on any of the videos that are in YouTube obviously so there are uh, certain things uh, in Dazzle ORM with the joins with the query and everything and I am going to cover each and everything over here so I have built a couple of APIs and I am not using TypeScript on this I'm not using TypeScript that is not has been uh, done in YouTube I am not using TypeScript on this one so uh, let's start uh, with the things first uh, I want to show you what we have done uh, before that I want to go to this uh, database structure I'm using MySQL obviously uh, Postgres has been mostly covered but MySQL has not been covered so MySQL is uh, one of my favorite so so this is uh, where uh, the product is and uh, the product table obviously and it has couple of fields and it has a user table which has uh, certain fields as well so I wanted to make relation queries on each of these tables with this everything so let's get started with this first one product all column so if you click this one so I have not started the server yet let me start the server okay so as you can see all the products are listing down this is very very nominal query nothing else yeah, I, we will definitely run into the code uh, but before that what I have created uh, let me show you first product particular select so if you wanted to select a particular column you can select that particular column product equal to uh, the product that is equal to a certain thing here is the price obviously product less than equal to uh, less than yeah that gives me two results put a less than equal to and uh, this is put a greater than equal to greater than you can see all of these product by own column that I will come so you can see when you are querying using your own columns exactly the product combine and filter product listing product listing is uh, very important and so what I have covered is very important in the production unit of the queries so uh, whenever you uh, creating an e-commerce or, uh, or a website these are the main queries that required actually and it's required in a very large scale so that is what I have covered product distinct with fields so you are distincting only one field and that is distincting with the whole system Product limit and offset obviously required a lot of things is required in limit and offset. Product order by and you obviously know what is order by and how it is very much important in a e-commerce website. Product sum summation is very important. Product insert so this is the insert part so let me change with something like this and then get an insert and you can see affected row 1 inserted ID is written in 6 so it returns a beautiful object which can be used in your further reference to the after, after the insert whatever you wanted to do you can refer to this object exactly so inserted ID if you wanted to return the ID you can return the ID if you wanted to check if the affected rows has been created or not or the insert has any kind of errors that is also info is coming out so there is a lot of things that are coming out when update you can update 
the things out obviously you have to do like six and then you can you can see affected row one and if you do like five i do not have an idea of five then you cannot go there is no affected rows no matched if you do a six then it will match the product delete i do not have to say uh, it's just get deleted affected rows one so there are joins also so i have covered the joint as well so user and the product joins the product has uh, the user has a lot of products so one is to many products so one is to many relationship actually it has been joined out the left join the right join the total the inner join the inner join sorry for that product inner join selected so this is something that is very important when you are when you are joining the two tables we do not want uh, all the fields of that uh, table that we are joining out so in case of a user we do not want the password field obviously so uh, in case of this join i have just uh, picking up the three fields the user id the first name the last name and the product so there is a trick between how to select the product the whole table and how to select the uh, particular column so i will be covering out as well so these are the couple of apis that are really important in creating a product and unit website or a woocommerce or a e-commerce exactly so let's uh, dive into the code now okay so first of all i have created the connection i have using mysql2 with the connection you can use a different connection level that as well work and that has been covered over in their documentation so if you go into the mysql part and time scale is also there and you can use mysql2 so i have used mysql2 there mysql2 with all the details and i have put in here a little bit of uh, checking that if the connection has been working so it's db is connected successfully so that message has been given out okay so that is the connection so i'm not using typescript i'm just using express normal express to work on and i'm i'm saying that this is this can be done actually you can use a typescript uh, part as a js part as well in the db first we have to create the schemas so i have created the schemas and you can see whatever is there imported in the typescript it can be converted in i have required and that has been converted to a required module exactly so these are the fields in the product and i have given all the type of the fields you can find the type of the fields by here i think column column types yeah column types you can go to mysql okay so lot of people has been covering out the postgresql but uh, mysql has to be covered out so mysql is very important as well so these are the types for the product and i have also created a, a schema for the user and these are the types for the user as well so you can generate the schema you have to first generate the schema once you generated the schema if you go to the index page you can see i have bring out all the equal to greater than equal to operators over here now before you can jump into the coding exactly you first have to make the connection so that is the db.js here so first i have bring out that connection and then using the razzle orm with mysql2 i have connected to the database now when i pull out the schemas in the index uh, page here there are two tables the user tables and the product tables so these are the two schemas that is now now being used so let us dive into the queries now so product all columns as you can uh, refer to the uh, index here product all columns so wait db select of the product product particular column you can give the id and the title 
you can give a name over here title to like this as well so if you go title to like this if you go to a particular column and if you go and select it will be like title to like this so you can manipulate the name in front of it it shouldn't be referring to the uh, column name itself the column name can be something different so you are retaining something different okay the product equal to obviously equal to the price the product less than equal to less than lt the product less than equal to lt the product greater than equal to gt the product greater than equal to gte and it's all the same query it's just the where clause uh, operator has been changed out not equal to any mm, by its own column so when you crossing that uh, when you are calling the product product is not equal to the product id 1 obviously by own column itself okay the product combined filter the uh, there are two combined filter with or and 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 is here the combined filter and and with the or is this one then yes this is the or and and filter this one with the two two columns actually with multiple columns actually filtering data distinct is something like this uh, the product distinct select distinct and product select distinct with only title and title slug like this you can select with a particular field product distinct Product limited uh, limit and offset, obviously limit and offset, and you can also set the limit. I have given here the example of the product limit here as well. Okay, so you can only give the limit. No offset is there. Product order by, okay. Product order by means uh, the order by of the product, and you can use the uh, multiple order by like this given example. Product result only order by right here and given the dsc by dsc and by asc asc by is default and by dsc if you are do you have to do it like this product sum okay summation of the uh, price exactly so here is the left join so left join for the joints actually if you go into this section you can see i have just referred to the users.id so it's just to refer that it has been referred to the user table and it has a user id and you can join each and everything the left join the right join the inner join and user id and product user id and now in the product inner join left select so when you are selecting particular column you wanted to have the full product so product column product that is the full table will return out it means product dot star exactly in sql query obviously but uh, if you wanted particular so you put a dot and then id then it's a particular field okay product integer is very straightforward i have nothing to say it's just value and give the fields it's just product insert and it's written the results and product update you just put an update over here just a wire clause and it's it would be set not values and it would be update product delete this is simple as simple as it. if you want to delete the whole table whole table data this just delete product you do not pass any kind of wire clause in it so this is the dazzle warren that i want to cover out this is an excellent approach of doing the warren system i really like this one because uh, unlike other warrens that has a hidden sql feature but uh, this one is very much uh, equipped with the sql queries itself i would be obviously adding this uh, my code on the description if you do like my videos do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video